Um. Well, I kind of already know who the lord of the house is, but I guess we could do that anyway. Who is the new lord of House Forester? Why, Ethan, of course. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is... challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. Not really, but okay. Um, what will become of me? What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Excellent Under question. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Hmm. Can I see Can I see Ethan? Ethan? Is he here? He is, but I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Oh. Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked Thank to see you. Thank you, my lady. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... Yeah. <laughs> About that. I'm so sorry. Nato. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. I'm sorry, my lady. Yeah, I don't think I could have saved him. Be done to save him. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... Um... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he uh, um... passed? If you can remember. It would mean so much to the family. He said he loved you. <laughs> that was a quick decision. That's I was like, um, kind of you to say. I'm not supposed to tell her about the North you have Grove, the forest right? Sword. This belongs with Ethan now. He's the new lord uh, of the house. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's what too dangerous, hell? especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to tell anybody about my no, uncle, right? This was our land. They were our people. I don't your think I'm supposed family. to tell her about it. I share your outrage, Sir Roiland. I do. Royland. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming Wait. to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow. Do you remember bastard. who the uncle's name was? Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Dude, Forrester Dude, they attacked land. me, man. They attacked me. And they'll say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. It's an argument you cannot win. We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. It was his family they killed. My uncle's right. Yeah. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. 
Yeah, no, Ed, so, uh, he didn't last very long done? either. <sighs> um... Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this, but... I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not uh... faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same as any man. Fuck the Boltons. Fuck the Boltons. <laughs> One of their men killed my family. Aye, you'll say it was justice. They'll say it was murder. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need uh... to put us to the torch and kill us yeah. all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take, which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, you can't send me away. What the hell? We have no choice, Garrett. Where would you have the boy go? The one place that's safe, beyond the reach of the Boltons. You're sending him to the war? What the, the boy's done ah, nothing damn it. wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. So this guy's my it's uncle. The only solution, uh... especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. Uncle, my place is here. Who will defend the house? You said we need men who can fight. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. I'll do what's asked of me. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it, then. You can have my horse. And I'll see you have plenty of food, but we haven't much time. The White Hills will come mm. looking for you. God damn it. Alright. Okay. Great, Word they're already me. sending me off. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you want to stay, but Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's right, well, best men Well, I didn't really have a choice. No matter what I would have picked, they would have sent me away anyway. His own great-uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. You're the only family I have left. In my heart, I know I'll see you again. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? Uh... Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, the North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. You've filled your lo uh... It's not often discussed, if ever. What is the North Grove? What is the North Grove? Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. What the... And it's better kept that way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? No, I was told to this tell you. This is important, so... Garrett. I need to know the truth. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Okay. <sighs> God damn it. They're sending me off. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Right. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. Uh -huh. I know you will. Quick decisions. <laughs> 2014 edition. <laughs> All right. That looks a little awkward. Yep, yep, so long. Send me wait. to the wall. Oh. How you 
you doing, lady? Oh. About to go wow wow. Be safe. Sure thing, my lady. I'll see you later tonight. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> that was a joke. Alright. Long road ahead. Ethan? Ethan! What the hell is this? Lord of House Forester. I couldn't find him. Could you? Sure, why not? Uh. Surprise, I'd you're not hiding at all. And if he was smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. Hey, look, you found me. You found me! Well done, Ryan. <laughs> don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A oh, stupid yeah. game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here, and I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And Asha. And... and Roderick. I do too, but Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gareth to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. Uh, I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. Garrett is strong. He can take care of himself. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. What the f... Sir Royland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. <laughs> he doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. You what is milksop bloody milksop. Mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like... like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher. And he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. <laughs> Do you remember when we were A younger? lord should know how when to we fight. We used to play here. You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. No, we yeah. wouldn't. Don't lie. Where was I? You weren't born yet. <laughs> we had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asher... Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know a Lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I promise I won't change. Good. Because I'd rather have a brother than a lord. Right. You'll have to have both, I'm afraid. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. Mm, so that's I not like, like everyone. There's like, it's not like a lot of people. That simple. It would be nice around. if someone did what I wanted for once. But Ethan will be a good lord, a proper lord. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the Lord. <laughs> you are the Lord. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. Oh god, I'm having like flashbacks to like the Monty Python. <laughs> Freaking... Fighting rabbits. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh god, the little rabbits. Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. What? Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. 
fees, Ethan? He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Lord Whitehill is a mean old man anyways. Someone should tell him to leave us alone. It's okay. You should go. It's what must be done. <laughs>